Hey y'all, before we start the video, I just wanted to say to everybody, if there's a specific tool you're looking for, look in the links below this video on YouTube in the description. There are links to jump you right to that tool. So you can go scroll down, look for the link for your tool, and it'll just jump you ahead in the video to where you want to be for that tool. So hope you enjoy. Bye. Hey, good afternoon all. This is Mr. Sandy here and uh, I'm going to take you through some of the sites and tools that we can use for projects. So this is going to be fun, um, kind of exciting and pretty good. So um, here we go. Uh, the way I want you to start is there's a great creators tool page on the library homepage. So I'm going to go to the homepage up here and I'm going to go to schools. I'm going to go to JWMS and then I'm going to go to our library page, students and then library. And right here is a create tab where Mrs. Rumney has a ton of great tools that you could use and you can use any of these tools for the project. So you might want to explore and see what you can find. Um, the tool that I'm going to start with today is called Book Creator. And Book Creator is found right here. You can also just go to bookcreator.com. Um, you're going to want to sign in to start. So I'm going to sign in. And I'm going to sign in with my Google account. Ooh. Yeah, I'll sign in as a student. And I'll sign in here. I guess I'll continue as a teacher. All right, so this is Book Creator. Um, you can get start, uh, you can read the tutorial and watch that. I'm just gonna start by creating a new book. Uh, I can choose the landscape of my book and a great method here is to use the comic book as well. Um, I'm going to, I don't know if I should go blank or comic book, uh, I'm gonna go blank. So once I'm here in blank, I can click the plus and I can import all sorts of cool things like images. I can search um, free images from Google. Um, I can search maps, drives, files. I can embed website pieces. I can um, open up my camera, and click allow, and just take a picture of me. <laughs> um, I can insert that picture in. Um, and it's saving the image and, and inserting in there. Um, I can use a pen to draw all over myself. I can't use the eraser. I can do all sorts of fun things. The cool thing about this is when I'm ready, I can add a new page just by clicking the right arrow. And then my page is here and can go forward. I can add text. I can do all sorts of other things. So that's the gist of Book Creator. I'm going to close out of that for now. And I'm going to go to another tool, which is a great graphics tool called Canva. Now, if you like Google Drawing, Google Drawing is another great graphics tool, graphics tool I'm, I'm going to talk about. But Canva is a really nice one as well. Um, Canva is listed right up here under graphic design. And the beauty of Canva is it has a lot of templates, a lot of beautiful ways to start. So once again, I'm going to log in. Continue with Google, go here to my account, and I'm going to log in. I'm not going to go through all the tours, but you certainly can. And I'm going to um, choose some of these designs. Now, I have a design um, that I've saved from last time. This is a cool template. Looks like a Nintendo, an NES controller from the Nintendo Entertainment System. And then I can just go straight into editing this. I can change this image. I can um, go all around and rearrange things. I can add, take a, take a new layout, which changes the whole design of the page. Um, I can add different elements. I can change text. I can add photos and grids and all sorts of things. Anytime I want to edit an element, I just double click on it and start changing it. So kind of a nice graphic editor. So that's a very cool option for you. 
I'm going to go towards the next one here, which is another graphic editor called Google Drawing. Many of you are um, used to this one, but to start this, I would be in my Google Drive. Um, I would start new and I would go more and go to Google Drawings. This starts just a pretty standard editor, but there's some very cool things I can do. I can insert an image and then search the web for um, images. Um, and it can pull up some nice high quality images for me. I'll take this one and I can just drag and drop on and start editing my photos. What's really nice about this is it's got a lot of customizations. So I can format this picture. I can add adjustments, like I can recolor it. I can add, um, change the transparency, and then I can export the whole thing. So that's a nice uh, image editor as well. Another thing that you have access to is called Google Sites. If I wanna go here, new, and then more, I can go to Google Sites and start building a website. This is a really easy website builder. Um, it works great. Um, you can add and change your pages over here just by clicking the plus, making a new page. And now I have two different pages to go back and forth from. I can edit in the editor or I can edit it on the side. Um, off to the side, over, no, this, oh, there. Um, <laughs> so um, I can change my page and I can start adding in elements very easily by going to the insert tab and start adding in things. Um, so I could like add a text box and it shows up down here and then I can resize that text box in a block form and it changes how it looks. So that's really neat. I can choose different layouts and then edit it from here. So it's a really easy site editor. And then I can take my preview and see how it would look on a website here. So I have my link automatically up here for my different pages and I start editing. So that's a really neat um, thing. Another tool that you have embedded in Google is if you go new, more you can go to lucid press which is another powerful graphics editor with templates it's very similar to canva um, has a few more different options and um, you can do different things with it i'm just go gonna go with student for right now all right so i can choose different templates in here and there's all sorts of different options be careful there's a lot of premium um, material in here. So if you um, if you look through templates, anything with a crown is going to cost you money. So you you don't want to do that, or you, or you might I don't know, but um, I usually go for the free stuff. So I can choose a template like this, and I can just start editing it. Let's see. I'm going to go with. I don't want social media. I want for print maybe. And I want like a, um, checklist, sure. And then I can start editing that template just like in Canva. So that one's called Lucid Press. That's an interesting one. Um, another one that I really like, uh, is, um, Pixel R. That's another graphics editor. So if I go back to, wherever yep right here and this is a photo editor but you can also use it for graphics and you can edit your photos and then put it back into canva or anything you like um, what you have to do here is you have to have an image so i'm going to open up um, an image oh i thought i had one um saved give me one second Okay. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to find the right image. But um, I'm going to take my narwhal image right here. This opens up and I can choose all sorts of different things to do. Like I can cut out the background, I can remove it by using like the magic cutout tool 
and it starts selecting out those colors that I don't want. And so that's a nice way to get out um, like a white background if you don't want it for your poster. Or you can um, recolor things. You can put filters on. Um, it's just a really great image editor, pretty similar to um, pretty similar to Photoshop. So a lot of great tools here. A great tool is the, the cut stool, tool, but you can also add text and all sorts of different things in there. Okay, we're coming up towards the end. Two of my favorite tools that are kind of off the grid, um, I wanna show you really quick. One of them, if you search P-I-S-K-E-L, this is the Pascal app. So Pascal is a free online sprite editor, but it's really cool because you can make cartoons. So you see here's Mega Man and here's all the slides for this Mega Man and he's running in a GIF. So you can make cartoons and different things just like all of these down here. To create a sprite, you wanna sign in, otherwise it's not gonna save your work. So I'm gonna sign in real quick. I'm gonna go to my saved work. I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna create a sprite. And this is really interesting because what you can do is you can draw on here. So I'll pick my color. I'll draw something and then I have a frame made. Now I can add a new frame. I can, I'm just going to duplicate this frame, add a new frame, and now I'm going to edit this. So I'm going to go through and start making my little guy wink. And so I'm going to add a new frame and just edit this down. And this is how you can make some neat cartoons. So now you'll see up here, um, when I click on the, the expand, I've got this great little winky guy making frames. So you could do that to create animations or create your cartoons and, and make them or your comic strips and actually make them move. It is a lot of work and you can add hundreds and hundreds of slides over here. So um, beware that that is a lot of work. All right, the last thing I want to show you is one of my favorites. It's called Incredibox. I'm going to search Incredibox, and uh, it's going to show up. It's I-N-C-R-E-D-I-B-O-X. Incredibox is a really cool site that allows you to produce your own music, kind of customize um, audio tracks so that you produce your own music. So I'm going to go to Incredibox.com. I'm going to click the try web version um, and we're going to get some music that we can create here. And then if you want to, you can use Screencastify to sing your music, sing your song or wrap your lyrics over the top of it so you can create songs. Um, the top ones are all free. The bottom ones are all paid for. So I'm going to go and try like Little Miss here and each uh different one has a different collection of sounds and so um these little the guys on the screen there uh they represent different sound clips that will play and that's how you can create your music by putting the sound clips together all stacked on top of each other so that they create a whole song for you students in my class you you're pretty aware of this this is a fun thing to do so i'm going to try this out i've got all these shirtless guys and then when i drop something on there it starts playing that sound so every person creates a new sound oh yeah so the more i drop on one song created so then you can do Screencastify to go over the top. Oh, yeah. You can be in control of the way. It's difficult. I can't see. I think I'm going to be in control of the way. Oh. Yeah. All right. So that is Incredibox. And um, that kind of wraps up all the tools. I want to remind you, if you want to jump to another specific tool, go to the description, just scroll down on YouTube, go to the description and jump back to a tool and you can see it 
again real quick. And if you want help with these tools, you can always email me, see me, or uh, ask me questions. All right. Uh, happy creating. Sounds good. See ya.